Hello and welcome to Cycles and Give Chisel. We are in our upper body push day, so we'll be focusing on chest, triceps, and shoulders. I will say chest this time around was a pretty minimal bit of chest, so get ready to focus more on shoulders and your triceps, okay? This is the second block of our training, the first segment of this upper body push workout. So love, allow yourself to familiarize yourself with the movements, okay? Feel free to start with lighter weights today. If you're familiar with the movements, of course, go to where you know you need to go. Uh, but in general, yeah, you got three more weeks after this to continue to challenge yourself, okay? So we'll be doing three rounds of movements for this week and next week. The following week, we'll try to fit in four rounds of some of them. And I think that's all I need to say. So let's get going here. We're gonna start down on the ground. We're gonna begin with, um, Let's actually give our wrists a second before we, we do start with the mountain climbers and modified burpees. So just a quadruped position, spreading your fingers out as much as you can and giving yourself a slight lean forward. And then if you need to, rock back. So a couple of those, either just a static hold in that forward leaning position or moving back and forth. Notice if any of your fingers wanna come up off the floor Notice if there's any tension or a difference per se between the two sides. Let's turn those fingers around so they face, fingertips face your knees. And from here, if you feel comfortable sitting back towards your heels, allowing yourself just to stretch out those forearms. We will, of course, be working on grip strength today. We'll be gripping weights for about 45 to 55 minutes, right? So that's a lot of, in, a lot of work in those forearms. <clears throat> turn onto the tops of the hands now, fingertips still facing your knees, and sitting on back. After this, we'll roll out our wrists, and then we'll get going into some mountain climbers. So as you're ready, roll out your wrist, and we'll go for about just 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, but most likely 20 seconds of mountain climbers. If a fast pace doesn't feel good for you, feel free to just step those legs in one at a time. Okay, so start up in your plank position, one knee to the chest, and swap it out for about 20 seconds here. Excellent, stay light on those toes. Keep the core fully active. Push strong through your hands as if you're trying to push a hole into the floor. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank position, we're gonna hop those feet up, stand up, Hands back to the floor, hop back, hop in. We'll go for about 10 of these total. Five more. Light on those toes. One more. Fantastic, very, very good. Coming down to the floor. As always, of course, scorpions. You know that anytime we're doing <laughs> this upper body push workout, we will be starting with scorpions. <clears throat> so good for your thoracic spine. <sighs> Excellent. Side to side. <clears throat> As we age, right, if we're not, all I'm trying to say with this one, where am I going? We need to keep twisting our spine. As we age, it'll start to get more and more stiff. So we wanna keep incorporating twists like this. Come on up. We're gonna go into push-up prep. So I'm gonna show push-up prep uh, from a kneeling position. Push-up prep is no joke. It's pretty challenging, okay? Your goal is to only push off the floor enough to slide a piece of paper under you, okay? We're not looking for a full push-up. So if I'm on the knee, in a kneeling position, I start here. <clears throat> I'm going to hover my hands real quick to retract my shoulders. When I'm ready, I'm gonna place my hands back to the floor, firm up my core, hover just enough to put a piece of paper underneath my belly and my chest, and then come back down, okay? This is a great place to start from the kneeling position. Otherwise, we're in a full plank position, kneecaps, are straight or quads are tight so that the knees are off the floor. Same idea, we hover the hands 
and then when we're ready, push, lift about an inch, come back down, okay? We're gonna go for eight of these. So either kneeling or full plank position. Get ready, lift the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Push the floor away, lift, back down. Squeeze and lift, and push. Squeeze and lift, push. Five more. For four. For three. For two. One. Beautiful. Get yourself to either quadruped or plank position. We're going to shoulder tap and then do a scapula push up. So side to side, settle in, retract the shoulder blades, protract. Tap, tap, retract, protract. Tap, tap. Beautiful. We'll go for about five more right here. Excellent. We'll go for three more. Take your time. How steady can you be on your shoulder taps? Two more. Last one. Excellent. Lower all the way down to your belly. Take the fingers behind your back or above your butt. Interlace them. Lift the chest just to give yourself a quick stretch here. We're going to do it one more time. Push up prep. Getting ready. Your starting position. Take an inhale. Exhale, push. Inhale down. And push for two. two three. Two, four. Five. Six. Two, seven. Eight. Coming all the way up. Shoulder tap. Scapula push up. Tap. Tap. Retract, protract, tap, tap, retract, protract. Remember, retraction and protraction is actually a pretty small movement. We're just sliding the scapula. Excellent, ladies. As we're doing so, we're trying not to drop the hips. One more. And rest. All right, great. That push-up prep, if you ever did CrossFit, the push-up prep, is something that I created after one working with clients who struggle with push-ups and then pulling from CrossFit hand release push-ups because I felt that that hand release was a really important piece of <clears throat> squeezing the shoulder blades together because when we're in a push-up we actually want to be in retraction we don't want to be in protraction okay all that being said let's get going so <clears throat> we're gonna start with Dead bug, single arm chest press. All reps on one side for the 45 seconds. Yeah, because most of us probably don't have a heavy enough weight at home, so that's what we're doing. So, <clears throat> 45 seconds of a chest press on one side of the body. Now, if you have a super heavy weight at home and you wanna try this, only go for about eight or 10 reps. For those that have not a heavy enough weight, Perhaps think of working for the full 45 seconds. So we're in the dead bug, weight starts up. You're going to inhale, pull it down all the way to the floor. Exhale, push to the top. Your goal here would be to not bounce off the floor, okay? So to control it down, full rest, and then find your power to push it back up to the top. Okay, for this, for this week, we will just do one side for 45 seconds, then the other side. We're then gonna go into plank tricep dips. So you're gonna pull out your bench, your couch, whatever you need, and we're gonna go into tricep dips. Our goal there is somewhere between 12 to 15 reps, okay? And then we'll go into plank rotations with a peel and reach. All that is, is you're here, you're going to rotate the feet, peel your weight up to the ceiling, put it back down, rotate to the other side. You will have an option to add a push up in there if you would like, okay? I'm going to pull this out just so I have access for tricep dips. All right. So, starting with the first piece single arm dead bug chest press. Your goal, again, find a rep range that is challenging for you based on the weights that you have with you at home, okay? Come on. There we go. 
Um, the, the spreadsheet said anywhere from eight to 10 reps, but again, if you need to go for more reps, please do. Coming onto our backs, we take off in three, in two, here we go. So as we're in that dead bug position as well, we do want to stay focused on the core. Control the weight down, do not bounce off of the floor. Excellent work. Now just on that last rep, I noticed myself, I like crashed to the floor. I wouldn't say that's a lost rep because then I was still able to stop and work on power to the top, but just be mindful what's going on here, right? Are you controlling the weight down or is the weight controlling you? We have three, we have two, and one. You have 10 seconds to set up on the other side. Taking off in four, in three, two, here we go. <laughs> Again, that first rep, the weight just controlled me. I did not control it. Not a lost rep, but just taking note, building that awareness. What is going on with your movements? What is going on with your body? If you're using a kettlebell, make sure that you are in flexion with your wrist. <sighs> Inhale down, strong exhale, push and press. So good, ladies. Come on, we have about 18 seconds left. Come on, we have seven. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Getting ready for our tricep dips. <clears throat> In four, your goal here is 12 to 15 reps. Three, two, here we are. So on our tricep dips, I would love to see this as our bottom position as opposed to this. I see this a lot. We wanna make sure chest stays open. Squeezing, right? Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale push. Also, please note, there really is no need to go this low. It's just, you just don't need to go that low, right? So just think, get to the depth of your elbow and then firm push. We have 13 seconds left. <sighs> Excellent. We have eight. Come on. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Here come our plank rotations, okay? Move at a pace that feels comfortable for you. We take off in four, add a push-up if you'd like. Three, two, feet wide, rotate the feel, feet, peel and reach, control it back down. Other side, rotate the feet, peel and reach, control it down. Nice wide stance with the feet. Do not let that weight crash back down to the floor. Show control in both directions. 20 seconds left, right here. We have eight seconds. Come on, we have five. We have three, two, and one. Beautiful work, ladies. Here is our 30 second break. Let's take full advantage of that. Grab some water if you need it. Towel off, whatever it is. Nice work, ladies. Very, very good. Dead bug, single arm chest press, coming up for round two in 15 seconds. <sighs> Getting yourself ready. We're taking off here in seven seconds. We take off in three, two, here we go, ladies. Inhale down, strong exhale, push and press. Beautiful. Now, interesting, what happens, Megan, if you actually, am I seeing that correctly? Do you have a weight up in the other arm? Yeah? What happens if you take away that counterbalance, right? Because that kind of serves as a bit of a counterbalance. See if the body gets pulled in the other direction, right? That's why we have a little extra core going on here than we would traditionally. Beautiful work, come on. We have five, we have three, two, and one. 
Now we'll both say, Megan, I also like what you were doing because you're still working on shoulder stability with that other weight. So feel into that. Whatever one feels right for you, go for it, okay? There's benefits to both. Having a weight there for counterbalance and also still working on shoulder, shoulder stability or taking that weight away and using the core to find that stability. Beautiful work, ladies, come on. Let's go. Come on, up. We have about 20 seconds left on the clock. Again, can you control the weight down? Strong, powerful push to the top. Control down, explode up. Excellent, we have six. Come on. We have three, two, and one. Fantastic. Very, very good. Tricep dips are next. I'm gonna talk through tricep dips with this interesting piece. Three, two, and one. I'll include it in this week's uh, lecture recap, which our lecture is tonight. But it's a conversation between Dr. Stacy Sims and Gabby Reese, two badass women. Um, and anyways, Stacy Sims, Dr. Stacy Sims, she is a leading expert in hormone health for women, specific to sports nutrition. She was saying that women who are perimenopausal or menopausal need more of a power-based training program, meaning fewer reps, and how quickly, how powerfully can you move that, wet, that weight for fewer reps? Three, two, and one. That would be a power-based training cycle. So when we're in that dead bug chest press, specifically to this workout here today, how much power, let's go, three, two, here we are. How much power can you generate on that floor press, on that dead bug floor press? Beautiful, we have 28 seconds. Twenty seconds, come on. So, so strong. If you're throwing in that push-up, how much power can you have with your push-up? Push the floor away. Come on. We have six seconds. We have three, two, and one. Woo! Gearing up for a little rest right here. We got one more round, ladies. Again, Megan, there was nothing wrong with how you had it up. So if that felt really good for you and more challenging, please stick with that, okay? 12 seconds here. <clears throat> Maybe start pressing with your other arm. We go in five. <sighs> Take it off here in three, two, <sighs> let's go. With that one weight, notice what happens with your legs. Do they kind of go in the opposite direction? <sighs> what happens with your other arm? There should be quite a bit of tension in it. Using it to create extra stability. <sighs> Come on. 20 seconds. Push it, ladies. Come on. <sighs> Where's your power from the floor? Come on. 10 seconds. Come on, three, two, and one. Good job, good job. Switch it up. Other side. Here we are. We're ready to go in three, two, let's take off. Come on. Inhale down, strong exhale, push. Come on. It's not really truly about how many reps you get in. It's your mind-muscle connection. Create as much power as you can from the floor. Punch your knuckle towards your knuckles, I should say, towards the ceiling. Come on. Each breath, each movement has a breath. 10 more seconds. You're so strong. Punch it up. We have three. We have two. And one. 
done with those fantastic work, ladies. Let's get ready for tricep dips. Three, two, here we go. Inhale down, exhale push. Excellent work. Come on. Again, right here, can you explode up? Come on. Load those triceps and push. Come on. We have 25 seconds on the clock. Squeeze to the top. Come on. Yes, ladies. Good. Push it, push it, push it. We have 17 seconds. When you finish your set, 12 to 15 reps, go ahead and rest. Come on. You're so strong. You got this. Eight seconds. Push it, push it. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Find a little ditty right here. Plank rotations. Peel and reach. Add that push up if you'd like. Three, two, let's go. Find stability at the top. Control the weight down. Obviously, keep your core on. Feel into that strong foundation. 30 seconds. So think, create a goal post, press to the top, goal post, bring it back to the front, palms face you, palms face away, okay? That's the difference between Arnold and Scarecrow, just a wider wingspan, let's say that. We're then going to go into tricep kickback, but with a reverse grip. All that means is you stay in a supinated position, okay? So palms stay up, we're hinged, we're going to press, bring it back. Press, bring it back. We go into six point raise. I'm out of breath right now. So our six point raise, we start to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go light on those, okay? No need to go heavy and create issues in your neck. We'll finish that set with a full sit up. I'll let you choose if you wanna do that weighted or not, okay? All right, ladies, trying to scramble in three rounds here. Again, starting with our, that's perfect, starting with Scarecrow. Scarecrow, we're looking anywhere from 10 to 12 reps. Here we are in two and one. Open it wide, press, bring it back in for one, for two. Nice work, very good. Four, take your time, five, six, woo, burning, come on, and we have four, we have three, two, and one, wow, I just fit in 10 reps there. That's wild. Reverse grip tricep extension. Looking for 10 to 12 reps in three, two. Here we go. <sighs> 10 to 12 reps, beautiful. Same idea, let's not lift those arms too high. Let's just get into the 
height of our hips. And notice what happens with your grip, with your, your wrist. Can you keep a nice strong wrist as you go through these? We have 15 seconds. Once you've hit your 10 to 12 reps, give yourself a little break. Eight seconds left here. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful six point delt raise. Coming up, our goal here is only six to eight reps. We take off in five, four, three, two. Here we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful work. Nice and controlled. You got it. Somehow I'm going to try to fit in three more with these weights. I don't know if it's going to happen. They're going to start to get ugly here. Kind of realistic that that will happen on these. 13 seconds. 10 more seconds. Come on. Oh, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Full sit up, okay? I'm gonna work for the full 45 seconds. We want a range of anywhere from eight to 15. I'm also gonna just take a weight with me. Here we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Now, if you're not using weight, can you try to take out momentum or assistance, right? It's okay if you get stuck. But this is a life skill, right? We sit up to get out of bed. We sit up to get off the couch. We're camping. We get startled in the middle of the night. We sit up, right? This is something that we do all the time. We should be able to do it without momentum. That'll be a goal. Seven, we have five, we have three, we have two, Beautiful, 30 second rest, well deserved. Shake out those arms, all right? Grab some water. You know what I love about upper body days is that feeling of like, I call them T-Rex arms. I just feel like my arms are ready. <laughs> they're shaky, they're not, they're not feeling <laughs> quite as strong as they usually do. Where are we going? Scarecrow, oh boy, seven seconds. This was so hard last time. Let's see. Three, two, let's go. Root down. Keep the core active, whether you're seated or standing. Beautiful, ladies. Come on. going for three more. We have 17 seconds. Come on. 10 more seconds. We have five. Jesus. We have three, two, and one. <coughs> Bye, Megan. All right, Emily, you and I. Tricep, reverse grip. Here we go. Three, two, 12, Sorry, 10 to 12 reps. Exhale as you extend. Beautiful, we have just 18 seconds left. Nice work. Excellent, 10 more seconds of work if you're still working. Beautiful, we have five. We have three, two, and one. Six point delt raise. Again, it's okay if they get ugly. Challenge yourself, okay? Try and get six reps, here we go. Two and one. Excellent. Come on. Come on. Very 
go, Emily. Come on. Up, up. 22 seconds left. Keep it moving. Try to hit six total reps. 10 seconds. Beautiful. We have five. Oh, we have three, two, and one. Full sit up is next. Eight seconds. We take off in four, three. No momentum if possible. Two, let's go. Beautiful. Come on. Exhale, sit up tall. Control the down. Remember, help with your TBA comes from your breath. The moment you start to exhale strongly, your TBA will engage. That is like your deep, it's not like it is, your deepest rooted core muscle, right? Let's do the best we can. Give it the best opportunity for engagement by pairing it with our breath. We have seven seconds, come on. We have three, two, and one. Oh, T-Rex arms in full effect, 30 seconds. Nice work, girl. All right, we have 22 seconds. One final push with our scarecrow press, which is truly kicking my ass. <laughs> 10 seconds here. Taking off in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Nice. Very, very good, Emily. Come on. Hold in. Fantastic. 15 seconds right here. Beautiful, Emily. Very, very good. I personally like tricep extension way better in a medial grip. It just feels less awkward passing by my hips. So it's nice to just give myself that challenge of like, you know, discomfort even just with the grip, the position of the weights. Four, three, six point, last time, two. Here we are. Can we finish this set regardless of how ugly they look? Come on. This is true fatigue. Come on, three more. You got it. Two more. Yes, yes, come on. Hop. One more right here. Beautiful, we have five. So good, three, two, and one. Nice work. Six seconds, weighted or not, full sit up in four, three, two, here we go. Control it down, rolling the spine. Exhale up to the top, and then again, control it down. Exhale. 
excellent work. We have about 20 seconds. Can you continue to work? Come on. 15 seconds. We're here for eight. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Oh, beautiful work. Really, really great. We're gonna reset this real quick for three. All right, so let's take a little, a little sip. I will admit, I've been doing, yes, my mud water with protein prior to, you know, first thing, but I have not been sticking to no caffeine before 10 a.m. Um, feeling a need for it, sleeping really, really heavily right now. I don't know if that's going on for anyone else, um, but going to be paying closer attention to that in the next few days. Can I go back to decaf first and then have coffee a little later? Okay, next up, <clears throat> carry side rant <laughs> over. We're going into our final set of movements. We just have three, okay? So we have alternating single arm shoulder press. So we're gonna ideally start here, but if this feels better for you, you can also be here. So the weights are here. We're gonna press and press. Our goal is to hit either five per side or six per side, okay? Forearm press up. These are challenging. I'm gonna give you a couple of options. So as written, a forearm press up, we start in this position. We press using our triceps to this very long, full plank position and then we control back down. Option two, pipe your hips up, okay? Press from here and then lower down. That makes it way more approachable, okay? If you notice that you're doing one side before the other, go to that second position that I just showed you, the pipe up, okay? Build strength there and then as you get stronger there, learning the mechanics of it, then try to move closer to that full plank position, okay? Final piece, we're gonna rotate side to side. Now, if your arms are shaky, like mine are, or you have any tender wrists, anything of the sort, go on your forearms, okay? Otherwise, what the move will be is feet are staggered. We rotate to a side plank position, knee to elbow, rotate, other side, knee to elbow. Okay, so just a side to side rotation there, all right? Okay, this is it, this is what brings us home. We're doing great. All right, alternating single arm shoulder press, anywhere from five to six per side. Here we go. So I'm just gonna be somewhat lazy and stay right here. Three, two, let's go. You could be seated, you could be standing, you could be kneeling like me. There are so many options, right? We're focused on stacking ribcage over the pelvis. Just brought my attention to that because I knew that I was flaring my ribs. So try to keep those ribs down. If you're somebody like me who flares the ribs quite a bit, it's just an indicator, or can be an indicator, let's say that, that we need to work on some mobility. I for sure do. We have 10 seconds. We have six. We have five, four, three, two, and one. For these forearm press-ups, we're looking for only six to 10 reps. They get pretty challenging, so just pace yourself, try your best. We go in four, three, two, here we go. Beautiful. seconds remaining on the clock. I just wrapped up 10 reps. I'm going to use that extra time to rest, feeling that my triceps are just like, <laughs> excellent. And again, when we move into the side plank rotations, if your arms are not stable because they're fatigued, please go to your forearms, okay? Rotating side planks in 10 seconds. Feet are nice and wide. We take off in five, four, three, two, Rotate, reach the arm overhead, knee to elbow. Come back to the center, other side. 
This one is more about slowing it down, finding stability in that side plank position. If you really wanted to, you can absolutely choose to add a push-up. If you are choosing to add a push-up, I might be wondering, do you need to go up in heavier weights for the rest of your workout? Arms should be pretty depleted right now, as should your chest, but we did focus a lot on our arms. We have three, two, and one, taking a well-deserved 30 second break. Two more rounds and we're done, lady. Eighteen seconds. Again, we'll start off with that single arm alternating shoulder press. Here we are in eight seconds. In five, three, two, here we go. Beautiful, strong press. Yes, yes, yes. Notice if when you press, is your whole body involved? It's not what I'm seeing from you, Em. This is more for anyone at home. But can we keep a nice stagnant or solid foundation with the rest of the body and really just be moving that upper arm? Come on, 13 seconds. Beautiful. 10. We have five, four, three, two, one. Coming to the floor, we're gonna get ready for that forearm press up. Six seconds. Taking off in three, two, here we go. Good job, Em. Good job. 20 seconds remaining. Beautiful. Should be pretty fiery in the triceps when you finish those forearm press-ups. Our target there is absolutely triceps and a sneaky way of getting in a little bit more core. We have three, we have two, and one. Getting ready for our side plank rotations, knee to elbow. We go in four, three, Two, here we are. Could you make contact between the elbow and the knee? And then even maybe have like a pause, a kick, and then come back down. Pause, kick, and then come back down. Just ways to slow it down to keep us under tension. 22 seconds. Beautiful, so, so strong. 14 seconds. Eight more, come on. Yes, we have three, we have two, and one. Excellent, final rest. Again, in the beginning of all of these new training segments, we might end up with a, a good amount of time at the end left over and that's really okay because in two weeks we'll soak up some of that time by adding some extra rounds right so this is still just your breakthrough week seeing what these movements feel like let's go last round three taking off in two and one let's go Exhale, press. Come on, twenty seconds. Ten more seconds. Come on. 
Beautiful. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Last time, forearm press up. Seven seconds. Get yourself ready. Three, two, here we go. Sam, 22 seconds remaining right here. <laughs> I think if I straighten my arm, yeah, there's just this tremble going on in my tricep right now. 10 seconds. <sighs> Beautiful. We have six. We have five, four, three, two, one. Let's sneak in one final round of the side plank, knee to elbow in seven seconds. Let's finish up. Find your flow. Find some grace in this. Two and one. There's no rush. Side to side. As smooth as you can make it. 33 seconds. We had a lot of grit today. Now is a chance to have a little bit of grace. Right? 18 seconds. Beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. 12 seconds. We have seven. We have four. We have three, two, and one. Fantastic work. We made it. Or if you have your step, whatever you use for your tricep dips, let's bring our hands on top of that. Just move this coffee cup <clears throat> and do an assisted or an elevated happy puppy. So knees way, way back. Spread those fingertips out. <sighs> press into your surface with your open palms. Try to press the armpits down towards the floor. I don't really care what happens with your spine. If you want to go into like a cow position with your back, because that feels good, go for it. <sighs> if you want more of an active stretch, you come into more of a cat activation of the core. Either is fine. Reaching up, coming a little closer to your step, placing your elbows right on the edge. Palms are going to come together. Okay, I like to go a little wider than shoulder width with my elbows. That's again because I have really tight shoulders. But now what we're going to do is we're going to sneak our head through. Same idea, press into the backs of the elbows. Reach the forehead towards the floor. Press your palms together. If that feels okay and you want a little deeper stretch, start to draw the thumbs towards the back of your neck. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming up and out. Excellent. We're going to do a simple arm across the chest. Just a nice, I'd say gentle pull, but truthfully, I'm taking this hand and I'm resisting this hand. So it's an active stretch as opposed to just kind of a very inactive stretch. I'm resisting that pull. Let's switch sides. Get your grip and now pull yet resist. Press that arm into it. Press, press, press. Beautiful for five, four, three, two, one. Taking the arms, interlacing and lifting up for five, four. Notice which arm is on top. Three, pull the shoulder blades apart. Two, one, open up, switch. Place the other one on top and then begin to lift the elbows, pull the shoulder blades apart for five, four, Three, two, one. Classic tricep. Final stretch right here. Grabbing the elbow. Nice, gentle, yet strong pull for five, four, three, two, one. Releasing and switching. Set yourself. Five, 
four, three, that feels so good. Two, and release. Woo! We are done. 49 minutes, not bad. Again, weeks three and four will totally soak up the full hour. That'll be when we add in four rounds of most likely the first two sets, but we'll see. Nice work. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. Um, yeah. Tomorrow is Strong Body, Strong Mind. We'll go back to working on, uh, I believe, squat cleans. Okay? So that'll be heavily incorporated in tomorrow's workout. I did upload all of the Strong Body, Strong Mind workouts for the, for the month um, in the spreadsheet, so you can also take a peek there if you're uh, curious about what's coming. Okay? Fantastic work. I hope you have a beautiful day, and we will see each other soon. Bye-bye.